there's no way of getting around work being hard. You put in effort, you put in time, you put in sweat, and you get a result. But these five things can make it a lot easier on you. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, it's Kyla Denanyo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. And we're talking all about the five second rule, okay? So this book is written by Mel Robbins, who was a lawyer. I have to say that off jump. <laughs> <laughs> and the genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is self-improvement motivation. Okay, so here are five ways to make hard work easier. Lessons that I learned from the five second rule. The first thing is you have to motivate yourself. Okay, the whole reason the five second rule is a rule is because Mel Robbins was having a really tough time. She counted five, four, three, two, one, get up. And the point is you got five seconds to wallow, five seconds to be pissed, and then you do the action, okay? Now for me, five seconds is too long. I can talk myself out of anything in five seconds. So I've altered it to the three, two, one rule. Oh, I don't feel like sending an invoice. Three, two, one, go do it. Oh, I really don't feel like jumping rope. Three, two, one, do it, right? There's tons of things you don't wanna do in the world. Count down from five, at blast off, at launch, it's time to go. Number two, action. There has to be action to your words. I wanna lose 30 pounds, I don't wanna eat less calories. How you gonna lose these 30 pounds? Well, I know how. You can eat the same way and move your body, boom. But you have to put some action to it, right? When there's a rocket ship going, you count down, five, four, three, two, one, action is taken off. They light up whatever's under that rocket, boom. <laughs> and then it goes, okay? The third way of making hard work easier is you have to keep doing it. Now, we're human, things happen, you stop, okay. Let's say you're working out four days in a row, that fifth day you just can't, it's raining, it's whatever, you can't find your shoe, whatevs. You can't go more than two days after breaking the rule, okay? I'm not gonna eat sugar, I'm not gonna eat sugar, ooh, I had some cake. The next day you gotta get back to not eating sugar. You have to stick with it. You're even committing to keep watching this video. That's some commitment. You press play, that's your action. You were motivated, maybe the thumbnail, okay? Mel Robbins has a great chapter in here where she talks about any diet would work. I don't care if it's juicing, I don't care if it's low carb, I don't care if it's no fish, any diet will work if you do it. The problem is you get started, oh this was fun for about five days, six day, no. How are you gonna get to the hard work? Hard work is hard because everybody can't do it, <laughs> okay? And you're here watching this because you want to find out what to do to make hard work easier, all right? While you're here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about books every single week, okay? So let's get into the last two reasons. Number four, confidence is a skill. When I read this, oh my goodness, I, I was in tears because <laughs> confidence is a skill. Confidence does not have to be, you get up and you're just like, I'm about to crush the day. Look at how amazing I am. I cannot wait. I'm about to go crush brushing my teeth. I'm about to crush it when I make this coffee. You don't have to feel like that. But if you practice the actions, you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. And then it's not even like it becomes second nature because it might always be work, which is why the five second rule works. Because anytime something hard happens, you can then just pick yourself back up and go do it. But, 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 confidence is not something that just you put on like I put on this t-shirt. Confidence is a practice skill. <laughs> so you have to practice if you want to keep going towards it, okay? So let's get into my all time favorite thing from the five second rule. And that is, so what? Let me give you an example. Oh, I cannot wait to become a millionaire. Here we go, here we go, I'm about to do it. I'm about to start this company. You get up, you apply for a grant, you don't get it. Oh, that's so embarrassing. How could they do that? So what? You put action out there. The result is not the point. The action is the point. Okay, 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 Mel, I see what you, so let's use another example, okay? I'm gonna eat these salads every day for the month of January, I'm eating salads. <sighs> I told my husband, why doesn't he agree with me? So what? He didn't say he was eating salads every month. You said you were eating salads every day. <laughs> if there is something that you want to do, you are certain that this is something that you wanna do, you go after it, you chase after it, you crawl after it with veracity, and the people who do not accept it, so what? You had the idea, you put action to it, you were consistent with it, and what was number four? The result is not the point. The point is the action, the launching yourself, the putting yourself into motion, right? And there were two really big examples in here that hurt my 
feelings because Mel Robbins talks about the guy who sees the woman oh it makes him just he stops he can't breathe she's so gorgeous he makes he starts walking towards the bar to go talk to her we don't find out what happens because it's not for us to know he put himself out there they got married they had eight kids oh that's not the point the point is he saw someone he couldn't shake it he wasn't married you know what I mean it wasn't like on some nefarious stuff but go after it and then there's another time where a woman wants to speak up in a meeting about doing something she speaks up I don't remember if we got the result but I don't think we find out the result I remember the boss saying hey that's a great idea and I think that's it because you don't need to find out this lady spoke up in her meeting her boss loved it a year later she was CEO that's not the point if you can make a five second decision to do something and you put action to it and then you're consistent and you do not care about the result so what so what who's watching so what who cares so what that you missed today get back to it if you can do all those things you are constantly practicing confidence you are constantly putting yourself out there you are constantly saying Kyla look at that great decision you just made I bet you could do it again Kyla you just did this amazing video I bet you can record another you are constantly propelling yourself constantly telling yourself good job keep going keep pushing five second decisions can absolutely change everything okay so would I reread the book the five second rule yes absolutely now this is an evidence-based book there's a lot of chapters in there that are real real dry <laughs> so I will skip and pick around in the chapters that I want to read but yeah for the most part I would reread the book the five second rule okay so thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video I hope you got some good tips about what to do with whatever the mountain is in your life whatever you are considering hard work okay I will see you next time on Kyla's reading day <laughs> bye